Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If it's your first time stopping by, feel free to subscribe down below if you like these kind of content. And if you're a returning subscriber, you're a real one. So in today's video, I'll be sharing 10 things I didn't know or expect when I became a Christian. A quick background story on my faith journey so far. I was born and brought up in a Christian home, but I didn't get to have that personal relationship with God until um, recently. When I say recently, I'm talking about five years ago, they're about, yeah. So when I'm speaking about things I've learned since I became a Christian, I'm speaking about things I've learned over the past five years, really, um, just spending time with God and getting to know God for myself, not just um, being a Christian because you're born in a Christian home and stuff like that. Yeah. So the first thing I learned was the church is not a building. Yo, this one blew my mind like when i heard it when i knew the church is not a building like i was like what what so what's the church like what is the church and i learned i am the church as a christian you are the church if you're a christian and i was just like has all my life been this calm like when i was growing up and i thought oh i was going to church going to worship god in the church like you mean to tell me all this while i have been the church and i didn't know i was the church like let me even break it down for you guys. So the church itself, the building, is just a building without the people in it, literally. What makes a church building different from a bank? They're both buildings, it's the people in it. So believers are the church. When we come together together, we make a church. So when I learned that, I was just like mind blown. I was like, whoa, you mean to tell me all my life has been like a scam? Like I have been the church all this while walking around and thinking oh when i go to church on sunday that's only when i go to church no i am the church so when i learned that it blew my mind away number two being a christian is fun i don't know how to explain it and i don't have the words to describe it but just the peace the love the joy everything that god just brings like i don't know what could be more fun than that literally i'm not saying this is every Christian all the time or this is me all the time but literally sometimes I could be in the midst of like the biggest storm in my life and I would still be at peace and I would still have this peace within me still be happy still be joyful literally and it's just like I can't explain it and it's just fun literally like getting to hang around with fun people who love God and even getting to know God spending time with the Holy Spirit could be one of the like interesting things to do I mean fun is different for everyone but being a Christian is fun and you can definitely find your fun in that lifestyle one way or the other the third point that I would constantly have to die to myself yes you heard it death I feel like if someone should ask me what is one word you would associate with Christianity the first word that comes to mind is death death in many ways Jesus Christ died for us so we could leave and also we having to now carry that cross every day and keep dying to ourselves literally I mean I probably wouldn't say that to a first-time believer just so I don't scare them away but literally death Every day dying to yourself, dying to your flesh, literally. Someone would annoy you or say something to make you mad and instead of you to go back cussing back at the person or lashing out, literally having to control yourself, having to show the fruits of the spirit and having to display self-control, love, joy, peace and everything. Like literally, like we're human beings, like we're flesh. Every day we get tempted, every day we have different people trying to step on our toes or different things, trying to like push us or like just trying to push those buttons basically that bring out the worst in us and you having to suppress that or you having to let the holy spirit just deal with all that and work on you like it's not easy like having to die die to your flesh die to your sinful nature dying to your selfish desires dying to your loss like my god it feels i i, I can't explain it like in the process it may not feel interesting or fun or something we like to do but looking back like down the line you see wow like i'm glad the holy spirit worked with me this way or did this to me and yeah but that's one thing um death every day having to die to yourself like no one told me literally like no one prepared me for that like we die every day as christians every single day you're dying one way or the other dying to your sin dying to your flesh dying to your desires and stuff like yes 
The fourth point is that Christianity is a lifestyle. I don't know, I, I probably thought it was a tag or something or just, yeah, just something. Oh, it's your religion. I'm a Christian. Yeah. But it's just more than that tag. It's a lifestyle. It's literally like an everyday walk. It's not today I'm off, tomorrow I'll pick up the tag and wear it. No, you're a Christian every day, full time. When I was still new to the faith and like a baby Christian, I used to think, oh, Christianity is for Sundays, you know, holy days and this. No, in fact, it starts on Monday, literally. It's like you've learned all these things and now Monday, start like, how, how are you going to apply it in your life? Okay, the sermon on Sunday spoke about forgiveness. Why are you going to forgive on Monday? What steps would you take to forgive someone on Monday? Literally. And that's where it starts counting. It's not just, oh, the holy day Sunday or you listening to sermons on sunday literally it's a lifestyle it's every day and it's not days of days on like oh on sunday i'm going to be holy i wouldn't curse anyone i wouldn't insult anyone no it's a lifestyle so it's something you have in you every day you don't pick the days to be on and off the next point is that i would fall more and more in love with god as i got to know him I didn't see that one coming at all. He is love himself. He is love. The very essence of God is love. So imagine you getting to fall in love with love. How pure could that be? Like the more you know him, the more you fall in love with him. I didn't have any expectations when I became a Christian, but like that is one thing that blew my mind away. Like the more you know him, the more you want to know about him, the deeper you fall in love with him, just everything about him. And it's just like, and the crazy part is human mind cannot even take in all that God is like we our brain doesn't have that space to probably like understand everything about God or like take in all that he is but still what you know is more than enough for you to want to love him more and more so I can imagine if you actually know him in his entirety like everything about him like it's just gonna be so amazing like God is so good, yo. God is just so good. The next point is, I did not know I would see how imperfect I am. You think you're a sinner? No. You don't know how much you're a sinner until you become a Christian. And then the Holy Spirit is showing you every day how sinful you are, literally. It's like every day showing you areas of your life that you need to work on. Showing you different things about yourself you didn't even know. And you're just like, what? Like... Is this me and you're just seeing how imperfect you are and you just know that you actually like cannot be perfect and you cannot be good without God literally because I mean the flesh itself is sinful so without God and the Holy Spirit like there's no way you can be sinless so just knowing that when you see your sins I'm like wow like is my mind this dirty am I this wicked and like just learning things about yourself every day is just like for me, I was just like, what? Like, I mean, you think you're a good person until you become a Christian, then you now begin to see all your negative sides and the Holy Spirit bringing out all your dirty laundry for you to clean up and for you to work on. And it's just like, it can be like a lot to take in, but it's so rewarding and so fulfilling to just go through that whole process of transformation and becoming a new person. So you've been hearing me speaking about the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit. Yes. Another thing I learned as well is that the Holy Spirit is real. Like he is real. He is realer than the person sitting next to you right now. There's someone sitting next to you. Like, I don't know if that's a word, but he's real. And he is the spirit of God living in man, like living in me, living in you. The same spirit that lived in Jesus Christ that caused him to perform miracles and make the blind see, make the lame walk and even raise him from the dead lives in me. Like, come on guys, what else do I need in life? Like I have the Holy Spirit living inside me. Like that is more than enough. Literally like the same spirit that raised Jesus Christ from the dead is living inside of me. Like, do you know what it feels like to know that? Like, do you know how it feels to, you can't talk to me anyhow like you you can't i have all the power in the world like literally you can't you can't you can't even mess with me the devil has nothing on me like he can't even come close to me like that's the kind of energy literally i had when i found out what wow you mean to tell me the holy spirit lives inside of me so yes he is real and he loves you more than anyone else on earth he is very very real 
Another thing I did not expect is that I would be able to boldly share the gospel of Christ in public and in private. You know when you're growing up and you're watching people preach the good news of God and people speaking about God and stuff and you just see, oh yeah, he's a pastor, she's a pastor, oh it's not for me, oh it's not my life, oh no, like honey, you don't need to be pastors to speak about God, you don't need to be a prophet, you could be anybody, you could be a child. In fact, as a Christian, we're all meant to share the gospel of Christ, it's not meant for just a group of people, so it's meant for everyone and never in a hundred years did I think I would be sharing the gospel of Christ. I probably didn't even think I would be bold enough to do it. And here I am a few years down the line, actually sharing the gospel of Christ to people, even to you guys right now. And it's just very amazing and very humbling at the same time. And my next point is I did not expect I would not be scared of death. Yes, you heard me right. I am not scared of death because I am alive in Christ by the grace of God. So as a Christian, I would not die. I would just lose my flesh and change bodies to a glorified body. Just knowing that is so encouraging because even after this life, there's so much more. So I'm not thinking, what if I die tomorrow? What if I die the day after? No, because my eternity has been secured in Christ because I am a believer. So I am secured. I'm not going around thinking, what if I die today? What if I die tomorrow? No, I'm just going around thinking, Lord, give me the will, give me the grace to fulfill my purpose on earth and to do what you have put me here to do. Not thinking, if I die today, will I go to heaven? If I die today, will I go to heaven? No, because by God's grace, I have been saved by grace alone. That brings me to my final point, which is that I didn't expect that would be the best decision I've ever made in my life. You know that guy you decided to marry, that girl you decided to pursue, that course you went for and that car you purchased, even that cloth you bought last week, all that that you maybe thought was the best decision you've made in your life, trust me, it's not. Nothing beats this. Knowing that this is the best decision I've made in my life is just the most peaceful thing ever. And I would never regret it in a million years. I would never look back on it. If anything, it's made me a better person in life. It's shaped me, it's helped me to become a better person overall. And that's why I'm here today sharing my testimony with you guys and sharing with you guys a few things I have learned or didn't expect as well through my journey of being a Christian. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like and also leave a comment down below to let me know some of the things you did not expect when you became a Christian. And if you're not a Christian and you're watching this, leave a comment down below if you relate to any of this or if you'd like to learn more about Christ and I'll respond to that. Thank you and see you in my next video. Bye. Literally, 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 like literally, but literally, 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 like literally, like literally, like literally, literally, literally.